Hugh Jackman isn't just a superstar, he's a true entertainer who's conquered Hollywood and beyond. This multi-talented icon isn't just an actor, he's also a producer, singer, and dancer, with a dazzling array of credits across film, TV, and stage. While he shot to fame as the fierce Wolverine in 2000's X-Men, a role that arguably ignited the superhero movie phenomenon, Jackman's career has been anything but one-dimensional. Born on October 12, 1968, in Sydney, Jackman has shown his versatility in projects ranging from the epic musical tragedy Les Miserables to the emotionally charged drama The Sun. His powerhouse performances have earned him a treasure trove of awards, including a Golden Globe, a Grammy, an Emmy, and two Tony Awards. He's just one Oscar away from joining the elite club of EGOT winners. But behind the scenes of his impressive career, Jackman has faced significant personal challenges that many fans may not be aware of. From his early years of family upheaval to the emotional toll of infertility struggles with his wife and the profound grief of losing loved ones, Jackman's life has been far from easy. This is the captivating and sometimes heartbreaking journey of one of Hollywood's brightest stars. His mother left the family when he was a child. Even global superstars face tough times, often rooted in a challenging childhood. Hugh Jackman is no stranger to this. As a child, he endured one of the most heartbreaking experiences imaginable. His mother left him, his brothers, and their father to return to her native UK with her daughters. This life-altering event happened when Jackman was just eight years old, living in Sydney, and it took him years to fully grasp the reality of his mother's departure. In a candid 2012 interview with Australian Women's Weekly, Jackman opened up about the impact of his mother's sudden absence. One of the main things I remember is that horrible feeling that people were talking about you and looking at you because it was odd for the mother to leave, he recalled. The emotional scars from this abandonment lingered for years. Over time, Jackman has come to understand the reasons behind his mother's decision. She was in hospital after I was born, suffering from postnatal depression, he explained. There wasn't a support network for her in Australia. Despite the pain of the past, Jackman and his mother have rebuilt their relationship, often appearing together at red carpet events. Reflecting on their journey, Jackman shared a powerful insight. There comes a certain point in life when you have to stop blaming other people for how you feel or the misfortunes in your life. When Hugh Jackman's mother left his family, he grappled with her absence, clinging to the hope of a family reunion. Unfortunately, that hope was shattered a few years later, triggering a tumultuous period for young Jackman. I was volatile, Jackman revealed in a 2015 interview with Parade. His temper began to flare around the age of 12 or 13, coinciding with a brief period when his parents considered reconciliation. All those years, I'd been holding out hope that they would get back together, he admitted. But when his parents ultimately chose to remain apart, Jackman was devastated. There was this perfect storm of hormones and emotion, he explained. This emotional turmoil often manifested in intense outbursts, particularly on the school rugby field, where he'd channel his anger into what he described as a white rage akin to Wolverine's iconic fury. At times, he even resorted to bashing his head against the school's metal lockers. Anger issues. Reflecting on his childhood, Jackman described himself as a fearful kid who felt powerless. He struggled with fears of heights in the dark, which often fueled his anger. Thankfully, with the support of a strong family, friends, and professional help, Jackman has learned to manage his anger and channel his emotions constructively. Hugh Jackman carried more than just a bad temper from his tumultuous childhood into adulthood. He also faced lingering emotional issues that persisted well into his career as a Hollywood star. Eventually, he realized he needed help to address these challenges. I just started it recently, Jackman shared about his decision to seek therapy, a step that proved transformative. It helped me a lot. We all need a village, he told Who Magazine via Today. Therapy has been instrumental in helping him come to terms with his mother's absence during his childhood, allowing him to finally close that chapter of his life. But the benefits extend beyond his past. Therapy has also enriched his present relationships with family and friends. Most importantly, it's helping me to be more relational with the people I love in my life, and really understanding and living in their shoes and being clear to be able to see them," he explained. Jackman made this acknowledgement during the press tour for his movie, The Sun. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the film's challenging subject matter prompted the production team to have psychiatrists on set to support the cast. This measure was likely appreciated by Jackman, who has openly discussed the importance of mental health support. He was fired from his first job. These days, it's hard to imagine a studio that wouldn't want Hugh Jackman headlining their next big blockbuster. With
With over 20 years as a proven star, he can choose his projects and is never short of work. But rewind a few decades, and you'd find that Jackman wasn't always the ideal employee. In fact, he was fired from his very first job. To be fair, that job wasn't in Hollywood or even in an Australian commercial. It was at a local convenience store, specifically 7-Eleven, when Jackman was just a teenager. The reason for his dismissal? His chatty personality. I talk too much to the customers, which was probably true, Jackman admitted in a 2019 interview with Fast Company. She just wanted me to get them out. I said, there's no one else here and I want to chat. While this exuberant Exuberance didn't fit the job description at 7-Eleven, it has certainly served him well in his acting career. After his stint at 7-Eleven, Jackman quickly bounced back and found work as a PE teacher. Nowadays, there are plenty of people, journalists, interviewers, podcasters, and talk show hosts, who are more than happy to let Jackman talk their ears off, appreciating the charm and charisma that once got him fired from his first job, landing the role of Wolverine and the struggles. Most Hugh Jackman fans are familiar with the story of how he landed the iconic role of Wolverine in 2000's X-Men. He wasn't the first choice for the part. Doug Ray Scott was originally cast, but had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts with Mission Impossible 2. Jackman was brought in at the last minute, and his breakout performance catapulted him to Hollywood stardom almost overnight. But what many might not know is that landing the role also saved him from deportation. In 1999, after auditioning in Toronto and securing the role of Logan, Jackman faced a nerve-wracking situation. As he arrived at customs, officials confronted him about the status of his visa. Jackman, likely still buzzing with excitement and nerves about joining a major movie cast, was blindsided when a customs officer informed him that without active employment, he couldn't stay in the country. Recalling the incident on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Jackman described the tense encounter that guy literally is like, this is serious. You have no rights here. You have no phone calls. The officer even threatened to send him back on the next flight. But in a twist of fate, the customs officer turned out to be a comic book fan. When Jackman mentioned he had just been cast as Wolverine, the officer was thrilled and let him pass, in exchange for a few autographs from the future Marvel star. Landing the role of Wolverine in the first X-Men movie was a significant challenge for Hugh Jackman, but keeping the job proved just as tough. Jackman himself admitted that he had somewhat over promised when he assured the filmmakers he could achieve the superhero physique required for the role. When he arrived on set, he wasn't quite as ripped as expected, leading the production team to delay filming his shirtless scenes to give him more time to get into shape. But that wasn't the worst of it. Midway through filming, Jackman learned that his job was in jeopardy. I was told that things weren't really working out as they hoped, he revealed in a 2019 interview via We Got This Covered. I was about to get fired from my first Hollywood movie, the biggest of my career. Feeling stressed and angry, Jackman found himself at a crossroads. Thankfully, he turned to his then-wife, Deborah Lee Furness, for advice. With her support, Jackman learned to trust his instincts and let go of his anxieties about the job. To me, that was love, he said, reflecting on his wife's encouragement. Someone that believes in you when you don't fully believe in yourself. Playing Wolverine required more than just delivering a strong performance as the wild-haired, rage-fueled mutant. It also demanded a specific look and sound. To achieve the looks part, Hugh Jackman had to consistently work out to maintain the superhero physique for each movie, even getting ripped again for Deadpool and Wolverine. But his efforts didn't stop there. He also had to master Logan's deep, gravelly voice, a far cry from his natural naturally vibrant and cheerful tone. In a 2023 interview on BBC Radio, Four's Front Row, Jackman revealed the toll this voice work took on him. I've done some damage to my voice with Wolverine, he admitted. My falsetto is not as strong as it used to be, and that I directly put down to some of the growling and yelling. While he's proud of his performance, his drama school voice teacher might not be as pleased with the impact on his vocal cords. The strain even led to a vocal hemorrhage in 2015, forcing him to cancel a series of stage performances. Despite these challenges, Jackman's dedication to fully embodying Wolverine is evident in every aspect of his portrayal. Battle with skin cancer, Hugh Jackman has faced multiple battles with skin cancer over the years, specifically dealing with basal cell carcinoma in 2013 and again in 2023. According to Wall Street Dermatology, this type of cancer is the most common worldwide and is highly treatable. While it is often caused by cumulative sun exposure, it is rarely fatal, though it can be harmful when it appears on sensitive parts of the body. In 2023, Jackman was diagnosed with carcinoma on his nose, and he underwent treatment before the news reached the public. This marked a decade since his first encounter with the cancer in 2013, when he received a positive test result and began treatment. Since then, Jackman has undergone at least six procedures to address the issue. Using his platform to raise awareness, the actor 
urges people to protect their skin. Please wear sunscreen. It is just not worth it. No matter how much you want to tan, just trust me. Trust me, trust me. He emphasized on Instagram, advocating for sun safety and regular skin checks. Relationship with wife and difficulty conceiving first child. You won't believe the story behind Hugh Jackman and Deborah Lee Furness's romance. It's a whirlwind you didn't see coming. Picture this. It's 1995 and Hugh Jackman is a wide-eyed rookie in the acting world. Meanwhile, Deborah Lee Furness is already a shining star in Australia's entertainment scene, with a string of TV and movie roles under her belt. Their fates intertwined on the set of the Australian TV series Corelli, and sparks flew instantly. Just a year later, they tied the knot in a love story that seemed straight out of a movie. But the road to starting their family was far from smooth. They faced heartbreaking challenges, including miscarriages and the emotional roller coaster of IVF treatments. We struggle, Jackman revealed in a heartfelt conversation on the Jess Cagle interview in 2017. It's not easy, particularly on Deb. Despite these hurdles, their determination to become parents never wavered. They decided to adopt, welcoming two beautiful children, Oscar and Ava, into their lives. Today, Oscar and Ava are thriving adults, a testament to the enduring love and strength of their parents. Jackman's words resonate deeply. Our motivation behind adopting was, where is the need? He continues, I want to tell my kids that it doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is, whether your hair is straight or curly, if you're tall or short, man or woman, what race you are. What defines you as a human being is underneath all that. In the glitzy world of Hollywood, long-lasting marriages are a rare gem, often overshadowed by the complexities of stardom. Hugh Jackman and Deborah Lee Jackman stood out as a beacon of enduring love. Their story began with Jackman's first role fresh out of drama school, and together they navigated his meteoric rise to global fame. They built a beautiful family and seemed to epitomize the ideal of unbreakable Hollywood romance. But, as with many tales, this one took an unexpected turn. In 2023, after nearly 30 years of marriage, the Jackmans announced their separation, marking the end of an era. We have been blessed to share almost three decades together as husband and wife in a wonderful, loving marriage, they said in a heartfelt statement via People. Our journey now is shifting, and we have decided to separate to pursue our individual growth. The split was anything but easy. Sources close to the couple revealed the profound sense of loss and devastation both felt. Despite the heartbreak, Hugh and Deborah Lee emphasized their commitment to maintaining a strong family bond. Our family has been and always will be our highest priority, they affirmed. We undertake this next chapter with gratitude, love, and kindness. Their separation, while a poignant moment, also highlights their enduring respect and affection for one another. Even as they move forward on separate paths, their legacy of love and family remains a powerful testament to their shared journey, death of his father and another close friend. Growing up in Australia, Hugh Jackman faced the tough reality of his mother leaving for the United Kingdom, leaving young Hugh to be raised by his father and later his stepmother. Despite this early upheaval, Jackman forged a close bond with his father, Christopher Jackman, inviting him to film sets where he would quietly sit working on crossword puzzles. However, in 2021, while filming the emotionally charged drama The Sun, Hugh received devastating news. His father had passed away. This loss was especially poignant, as Christopher Jackman had been the unwavering rock of the family. Hugh, in the midst of one of his most challenging roles, was heartbroken. Thankfully, he had the support of a compassionate crew, on-set mental health professionals, and the love of family and friends to help him through this trying time. In a twist of fate, his father's passing occurred on Father's Day, adding another layer of poignancy to the moment. Hugh took to Instagram to share a heartfelt tribute. My dad was, in a word, extraordinary. He devoted his life to his family, his work, and his faith. I pray he is now at peace with God. This touching farewell underscored the profound impact Christopher Jackman had on his son's life, a testament to the enduring love and respect Hugh held for his father. The death of Hugh Jackman's father wasn't the only recent tragedy that the actor faced. Just a year after losing his dad, Jackman was dealt another blow with the passing of a close friend and colleague, Ray Chan. Chan, a renowned visual artist for Marvel Studios, had lent his talent as an art director to Hollywood classics such as Children of Men, Blood Diamond, and Guardians of the Galaxy. Chan and Jackman first collaborated on the set of Deadpool and Wolverine, where Chan served as production designer. Tragically, Chan passed away at the age of 56, just months before the film's release. The loss reverberated through the Marvel community, with Deadpool star Ryan Reynolds among the first to express his sorrow. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige also honored Chan's legacy, stating, he will be missed by everyone at Marvel. Jackman took to social media to share his grief, posting a heartfelt 
tribute on his Instagram story. I am devastated to hear the tragic news about Ray Chan, Jackman wrote. There was not a day shooting when I didn't marvel at what he created. He created magic. There was this look in his eyes the look of a man who loved his craft. These back-to-back -back losses have undoubtedly been tough for Jackman, yet they also highlight the deep connections and mutual admiration within the entertainment industry. Despite the sorrow, Jackman continues to honor the memory of his father and friend, celebrating their extraordinary lives and contributions. Hugh Jackman's journey is a testament to resilience and unwavering dedication. Despite the difficulties in his personal life, Jackman continues to shine brightly in Hollywood. His latest projects, including Deadpool, and Wolverine showcase his enduring talent and commitment to his craft. Jackman's story offers several powerful life lessons. It underscores the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity, the value of strong family bonds, and the need to cherish and support those around us. His ability to navigate the highs and lows of life with grace and strength is truly inspiring. As fans, we can admire not only Hugh Jackman's professional achievements, but also the depth of character and resilience he demonstrates in his personal life. His journey reminds us that success is often built on a foundation of overcoming challenges and that true strength lies in how we handle life's inevitable hardships.